Solomon, I don't like this. Eh, whatever. So... I wasn't going to go and sit in the chair by any means. I was just, just going to float down and like grab onto the back of it to see if I can <laughs> pull out and to the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, you grab onto the uh, back of it. Because I'm uh, weightless, does that still trigger the trap? Uh, technically, it's a trap he has to activate himself, so no. Okay, good. Okay. Can I, uh... Can I, like, improvise a rope with a rolled-up Hawaiian shirt? Oh, Hell yeah! You, you have tons of them on you! <laughs> improvised rope! That's that's great. Okay. It's something okay. dads do. I, I think I think this chair is a good thing to tie myself to with like a length with a length of rope made from like three shirts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> want me to want me to roll like to see how well I make it? To see uh, how, yeah. like how long it's gonna be? Like not no shirts, but I'm sure Joel has like tied like what towels and washcloths together to make a rope, like or like bed sheets to sneak out of a room. What what does this chair look like? Cause I'm it's a basic guessing recliner. it's not like a comfy chair. Okay, it's like a recliner. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure like the chair legs the sturdiest thing I could tie a rope to. Okay, so you tie it to the leg of the chair. We're gonna use that 13 as the DC for trying to break those. For my movement, I guess I can just push myself off the chair to see how well I float. <laughs> uh, yeah, very well. You're suspended up above the chair, very slightly, with the, uh, with the, I'm gonna say you have, let's see, 10 feet? Yeah, 10 foot of range around this chair. That you can go away because you're tied to it with Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the right back, Billy, here. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Dude, dude, dude! <laughs> oh. You're within range of Argus! <laughs> Do you want to? Wanna... <laughs> Wait, I, I, I don't have an attack. Do I? You have, technically, what? you have... I used my actions. You did use your action. I'm gonna. Ah! It's really funny though, but next round you can. Next round you can. Okay. Oh cool. my god! <laughs> That's brilliant. That's beautiful. I didn't even realize that till it's too late. Jesus, right. man. Okay. Alright, so Joel's suspended like okay. a circus. Right. Let's do it. Philly turn. Okay, Aunt Philly's going to grab the carpet. Oh. Down Ooh. here. And like do like the big like shaking off the carpet like wave thing to see if I can like flip those tables <laughs> onto Argus. <laughs> <laughs> Strength roll from Aunt Philly, please. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Aunt oh, Philly no. crit fails. Aunt Philly, you it's it's too small for your big fat fingers. You can't pick up the carpet. I shrink and try it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why are my rolls so bad today? I'm Philly, you really can't get a grip on this goddamn carpet. I don't know, <laughs> it, it's it's weird. <laughs> oh yes, I've made that one a little bit hard to move, haven't I? Uh, mind the ice. I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to take Mahogany Guardian, kind of put him behind me. Uh, more just so, um, I, I'm, I'm essentially removing him from combat. Oh, okay. And oh. I'm connecting all ten strings to Husk Weaver. Oh, oh okay. Boy. Oh, is it time? Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, got it, got it. Thank all you. All right, that happens. I'm just going to prepare. <laughs> just uh, just lying in wait right now. All right. He's going to stay sitting in his chair, nap a finger, and try to make it rain. Icicles over these three... At that moment. Oh, are you? That's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. Tusk Weaver strikes a pose. Uh huh. It's a really good pose. It's a really good pose. It's a very good pose, Argus. Argus, you feel a sudden pain in your hand as your fingers can no longer move. Like something just broke them. So, damn. Uh, can Argus even do that thing anymore then? Uh, not with that hand. Well, guess you'll go to the other hand! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Icicles fall to the ground, but everybody's ready! Dodge! Guys, Dodge. stop stealing my good rolls! Dodge! She <laughs> like, puts up her shield, just like... Oh, just yeah, like, she, right above her head. Yeah, puts up her yeah, shield she and blocks all of it. It's an umbrella. Hell yeah, let's actually, let's, let's, um, let's, let's redo that, and let's just say it was the, uh, the umbrella that blocked all the icicles. Because that's great. Canada's just gonna look at Argus and be like, Really? Really? I'm sorry, did you think you were worth more? I'll be honest, that's a good <laughs> comeback. 
Really good. Kinda just smiles. Argus just smiles back and uh, kind of just crosses his legs in his chair. You're boring me. Oh, okay. Sales Rich Blast! Sales Rich Blast! I found it what it was gonna do. <laughs> Give me the range to feel a kick. Hold on. Eldritch Blast! Hey, an Eldritch Blast. Argus smirks as he deflects the first Eldritch Blast, and Kiana also winks, sends another one, slams into his <laughs> teeth. <laughs> 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 Am I boring? Kind of wipes his face with the good hand. Spits out a little bit of blood. Mm, you're getting there. You're at least better than the others so far. You've actually done something. Okay, buddy. We can get real boring if you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to move to the very edge of my uh, tether and, of course, fling the patty at him. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Well, Argus isn't set on fire. However, he takes six damage as a fucking wet patty flaps him in the face. Okay, we can we can get real boring. <laughs> <laughs> and another one! <laughs> and another patty comes in immediately after that, dealing seven uh, damage as it slaps Argus in oh. the face. Oh, and Argus is now on fire! His cloak is burning a little bit. The, the, the hood on him is starting to burn away a little bit. Slight bits of it burning away into ash and into the air. Aunt Philly is going to move to the center of the room menacingly. <laughs> menacingly. And is going to do a, like, uh, what sort of check? I'm going to do some sort of check on Argus with Aunt Philly. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> Aunt <laughs> Philly menaces from the second center of the room. <laughs> But it's really not on Philly you should be worried about. <laughs> Joel, Joel, yeah, you see you see the flame licking away at little bits. His hair is kind of floating around in the air a little bit from the, the wind, the breeze from the fire. And you see, oh, there's, there's something on the side of his head. It's like, it, it, it's a little odd. It's, well, I don't know. The best thing you could say is they're like fins on either side of his face. Well, since I already saved my uh, one bonus action, I'm... Now, we're also going to ready my spell. Okay. What's the condition for the spell? Uh, get up from the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Solomon is going to kind of just, with, with that, with that done, um, prepare to take the dodge action. <laughs> He's gonna try to break Solomon's hand by blowing it up. By blowing it up. Solomon's got two hands trained on Tusk Weaver right now. Either or, left or right, no choice. Which one did you, uh, heard of his, Solomon? Uh, whichever one you were snapping with. Right hand. We'll go with right hand, then. It beats the luck roll. Your hand is... splintered. Bits of wood fly everywhere. Richard, roll 2d10. Uh, and you you lose control of your pinky finger. That's what you get for getting handsy. You have a big... Do, do, do you have a hand fetish? <laughs> you started it. No, you no. did. Really? You hurt you, my hand. You huh? blew up Wizro's hand. You you seem to have a thing with hands. Ah, oh, yes. I also blew up, uh, what's his name? You froze Mavin. Ah, oh, yes. Or was it Gavin? Mavin. Okay. <laughs> this is why you don't oh. get in my way. And <laughs> I think that's all he can do. I'm about to do something really stupid. Okay, Katie, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Solomon? Yes? How well can you catch? Um... Kiana's gonna teleport 30 feet to here. And she's gonna grab Renardo. Interesting. Oh, no. No, okay. where did he throw a Don Philly? <laughs> I could throw a Don Philly. Oh, no. Oh, that's a better idea. Me? The moment you reach, I spears up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my, um... I'm gonna catch shield. That okay. puts me at a 23 AC. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> Katie jumps, your Kiana jumps over, shield erupting around her, blocking ice spears as they burst from the cobblestones beneath the desk, trying to stab up into her. She's lifted up, grabbing Renardo along the way. What do you do, Kiana? I'm gonna throw it on Philly. Okay, you toss it far. It goes wide. Wait, if I shield him, will he not take damage upon him before? Yeah, you could do that. 
Because that's what I pretty much had ready as well. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Yeah, go ahead and do that instead. I think that's a better idea, because not only will that protect him from the fall, that will also make sure he's out of, like, out of the midst of the battle. Yeah, and it'll also make you able to still cast your other thing. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so a golden beam of light points out of Anfili's face as Renardo flies over, and a bubble shield pops around him, and he lands with a, a nice little boink, 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 boink. Oh, this is over here. <laughs> Keep rolling, buddy. Keep rolling, buddy. <laughs> Go through the window. Okay, I guess I'm gonna hold... I'm going to head over to Solomon. Hi. And I'm going to cast Cookout on him. <laughs> Why, thank you. Give my boy some healing. Give, give my little puppy boy some Cookout. Oh, nice. Do I have control okay. over my pinky again? <laughs> no, because that would have been ah, the mending. Damn. That's fair, yeah. Okay. All right, Argus. Look, we don't want to kill you. Or at least I don't. Aunt Philly, on the other hand... Well... I'd like to see you try. Aunt Philly's going to cast Godding Bolt. Okay. <gasps> uh, how about that? Oh, how about the beans? <laughs> oh, a critical oh. Guiding Bolt slams into Argus' wow. face! Hey. A golden light glows around Argus as the Ant Philly points a singular finger forward like a finger gun shooting out a light beam and impacting him in the face. This causes his cloak to completely billow backwards, revealing his head entirely. I don't quite know how mending works that well or how it's worked here. Can I cast a temporary mending on my finger? That would it be would a medicine act. check. All right. Okay, so kind of like a little lesser mending. Yeah, yeah, like a, a little, mending. a little, a little in the moment. It would still be an action to try and keep your finger together. That's fair. No, Congrats. no, you have no idea how to do medicine. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, how do I wait? I'm made of wood. Medicine doesn't. How did that healing burger? Never mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's ma it's magic. <laughs> um... I'm going to prep a holy light if Argus comes close. Okay. So the hood flies back, you said? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did certainly say that, didn't I? As the hood flies back, his eyes shift from the cold, calculating eyes that you all know as they go wild. A surge of emotion as a grin comes on his face. <laughs> You're trying! You're actually putting up a fight! You're not like everyone else. Oh, this is great. This is... <laughs> We're the only ones that have been able to do this in the past few years. This is fantastic. I've been looking for this. Oh, well, you know what? Let me give you a little bit of a thank you. As he takes the cloak off, tossing it to the side. As the whole battlefield changes. <laughs> A blue light emanates around as Argus Shakespeare floats up into the sky a little bit. Six icy spears materializing, floating around him in a rhythmic beat. <laughs> as all the spears turn and aim at Joel, he just okay. has a welcome in on his face. Okay. Well then, let's get this show on the road. Dance for me, monkey! God damn it, all five spears! Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five! Impacting into the side of Joel Simp. That felt good, didn't it? Unless the spears vanish, they're gonna either stay in him or come back out and float. Menacingly. Joel gets stabbed by the spears and then the spears float back out, encircling around him. I was really aiming for a hole in one there. Don't you mean a hole in five? <laughs> I like you! <laughs> I, I scream back, I like you too! If we weren't supposed to be fighting, I think we'd get along great. Can I tell that just by watching Argus, does Argus need to move and like, like, physically activate his wizard power by doing something? Um, the best thing you can tell is it's related to his hands. If he doesn't have control cool. of his hands, it seems like he can't do it. I'm gonna cast whole person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Yes. Argus beats the DC. What happens? Nothing. He turns his head around as the magic kind of gets around him. He just grins creepily. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you, sweetie. Don't worry. You'll get your turn. <laughs> 
I'm gonna fucking bamf the fu I'm gonna bamf here. Hey, Kiana steps into the shadow of Aunt Philly and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially. I kind of want to take a. I'm kind of want to use my distraction action against Orgus. Oh. Oh yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Argus, look out behind you! It's your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> As Argus slightly turns his head for a moment. That's all. I, that's all I need to make a dash over to Kiana without him hopefully noticing. Yeah, no, you're fine. He, you won't be able to react to that. Alright, Kiana. Whatever you plan to do next, I can help you with that. But if you were to use, if you were use, if we were going th through with uh, Operation Backdoor, now would be a good time before we all experience uh, being acupunctured to death. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, don't worry! If you leave, I still have your friends to play with! And they will be fun toys! Okay, Aunt Philly... Subdue. <laughs> Grab his hands. Okay, Aunt Philly is using bonus action to grow. Whack. Did you just say whack? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your reaction to that? No. Saying whack? Not a... No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I know what you want. I'm not giving it to you yet. Not yet. Can I say whack? Yeah. <laughs> can Solomon just say whack? Yes, he can. <laughs> Why do you sound like a duck? Ah, oh, you must take good! <laughs> Aunt Philly, get big. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, can I just... I can, I can just grab him. I can just grab him. <laughs> <laughs> certainly try! I didn't yeah. have to move. A strength save? Oh, these yeah. are good for him. You're very good at this. However, oh! that's a crit! <laughs> Tally? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I use his legendary resistance. Yeah. His legendary resistance is down. How do you legendarily resist? Because I need a way. As she comes closer to grab him, and he feels that uh, she's closing in, he's just like, Oh, this isn't fun at all! This is boring! And he freezes her hand for a moment and just kind of floats back before she clamps shut around nothing. Marcus floats a little, little bit away. Oh, by the way, that was Aunt Philly's first action. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh I yeah! Still, I could still just straight up grab you again. Do buddy. it again! Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> the fist advances. <laughs> Go yeah, you, it. you are being straight up cornered right now, cause I'm about to roll another crit. Ooh, it's real good. Not quite. Beat that. Oh, no, not one. Argus did oh, crit. No. Okay, so Aunt Philly grabs Argus anyway. <laughs> oh, well, you just really wanted to hug, didn't you? All right, grapple. <laughs> Aunt Philly squeezes. Okay, you are not moving anything, buddy. <laughs> That's a 30 grapple, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus! And <laughs> Philly's not taking any of his shit right now. Tuskweaver strikes a pose! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's a double 22. Something appears in midair for psychic damage to Argus as he feels his eyes get poked out and he's blinded for one round. <sighs> this fine, because I have a gift for all of you. <laughs> he pulls his head down into the hand, <laughs> giggling maniacally as he creates an avalanche of icicles. Can you move your hands, or do you not need to? He didn't need to. Um, there's something Perception else. Checks. Solomon is the only person that'll be fine because the icicles have already fallen here. Oh, cool. <laughs> what is this thing? What is this thing in the center of the room? That is a giant globe. Okay, can I get under it? Yes. Kiana's actually fine. Kiana- Shields! Six oh, damage geez. to Aunt Philly as icicles stick into her back, getting into position for Argus to do something if he wants to. Is it a back or is it a face? Who knows? Yeah, who really knows? <laughs> Ar um, Aunt Philly, you noticed something. He wasn't moving his hands. Something else is- He was moving something cool. else. <laughs> Pop his head back up. Are you all dead? Are you dead yet? <laughs> yes. He yeah, was clearly. He was wiggling his teeth. <laughs> oh my! Oh wait, I'm just gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Hey. Okay. So Argus gets hit in the face with two Eldritch Blasts. <sighs> <laughs> I know where you are. Oh, I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move do... over here. Argus, <laughs> you say. don't know where she is. <laughs> I can hear the beating of your fearful heart! 
to him because <laughs> does he hear me walking? He wouldn't yep. hear you walking, but he's not lying when he says that. Uh, if I try to move, I don't have a heart. <laughs> no, you're correct. Wait, wait, wait! I don't want to move that way. Hold on, that's Riley. I'm gonna move this way. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What do I- I still have 16 mammoth sticks. <laughs> yeah! Oh. You, you should totally use one of those! <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Hey, you heal for 2 HP and you feel a fiery vigor flush through your veins from the Tusker. Movement. Nice. I'm going to move to Kiana in case we need to get out of here. <laughs> in like one turn. <laughs> it is now Philly who slowly starts to deflate, the wax subsiding. I'm getting smaller! Oh no! Oh. Uh, Argus slips out, slippery bastard. Made himself slippery. Slippery little <sighs> fish. I'm sorry, I don't like it when people get handsy with me. <laughs> He's gotta Are you have a hand fetish. He is like living out his sexual fantasies right now. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I really, I really don't like this guy. I, 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 if I hear that, I'm like, I love him. He's great. <laughs> You're weird. Okay, let's see if this let let's see if this will teach him to try to break free again. I'm going to cast holy light on him. <laughs> oh, fantastic. As you take as you take 23 radiant damage from a burst oh of light God. coming off of Aunt Philly. And <laughs> I immediately grapple again. <laughs> well, he's grappled oh. again. Philly grabs him, yeah. squeezes. Howie. Yeah, I know. I know. That's yeah, 10. That's... Yeah, it's time to get out. Oh boy. Uh Solomon. No. Do you suspect anything? <laughs> Do you suspect anything is about to go down? I'm like, oh yeah, definitely. We're staying. <laughs> I like him. He's the one that's got the balls. I'm. I say, come now. We can't um, back out now. This is getting fun. I wasn't going to back out. I'm just standing over here. <laughs> Uh, I'm going we got to we gotta at least pick up these skulls, though. Yeah, pick up, pick up Bernardo. Here. Right, still good. Back. Solomon. Here. His head rolls around in the grip of Aunt Philly as he just... <laughs> You're going to die. I can see you again. As he glares at Joel, trying to cause, well, essentially all the moisture, the blood, in his heart to get more dense, make it solid, to burst his heart. Quadruple disadvantage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, how far away am I? Because it would normally be just yeah. double. It would just be dis It would just be disadvantage because it's through that. It would just be normal. But Joel ate the Tusker meat, and because of the special properties of the Tusker meat. His heart is imbued. <laughs> and the Tusker soul. Yeah. His, his heart yeah. is imbued with a fiery vigor, and right now your fucking magic seems to have a very hard time gripping Argus. It, it didn't work. Well, if one doesn't work, the spears turn and aim at the party. Two for Solomon. Wait, but I'm the one you like. Two for Joel, and one for Kiana. Are you trying to throw the rest of us under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> he totally is! <laughs> You're right! I like you the most! All five aim at Solomon now. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, you little man, please dodge these. Okay, so Solomon gets speared by the closest one. The others just go slightly over his head, missing. I'm assuming I can not really do the shield thing, because if so, then all of them get blocked. Absolutely. You got one yeah, more use of it. Man. Yeah, protect the little man. <laughs> little man's fine! A golden light comes off on Philly and creates a bubble around him. Oh! I like that! You showed me yours! I'll show you mine! <laughs> As suddenly, from Tusk Weaver jumps up in a place where it, close to Argus, and from next to Argus appears. <laughs> this is Diamond Soul! Do you like him? <clears throat> <laughs> And they're going to both punch Argus at the same time. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Diamond Soul appears out of nowhere, a puppet seeming to be made completely of souls. <laughs> and it, and uh, a team attack as they both punch Argus on both sides of his face on two cheeks. 
<laughs> you, you, basically, you crush his fucking teeth in with a big punch to either side. I, I yell, Kiana, finish him off! Why me? Because! <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friends are going to be so happy when they see you. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun showing them your corpses. Okay, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Which knocks him all the way down. And Philly, you feel Argus go limp. <laughs> Do I see his soul go out of him? No.